It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Wednesday. Getting over that hump. It's December 14, 2022. Number one, the man accused of making the bomb that led to the explosion of a Pan Am airplane in 1988 was in court this week, 34 years after that plane exploded over Lockerbie, Scotland. Abu Avila Mohammed Masood Kier Al Marimi was charged with an act of international terrorism in the bombing that killed 259 passengers on the plane, including 189 Americans and 11 people on the ground. Pan Am Flight 103 departed from London to New York on December 21st. Approximately one hour into the flight, the explosion occurred, killing all on board including citizens from 21 different countries. Of the 190 American passengers, there was a group of 38 Syracuse University students headed home for Christmas break after a semester abroad. Number two, Washington, D.C. will permanently offer free bus rides on all routes from next summer and other big cities like Boston and Denver may follow suit in what would be America's biggest public transport shakeup in years. According to the Daily Mail, the city will expand its transport services and waive the $2 fares for riders boarding metro buses within city limits starting July 2023. City council members also agree to expand bus service to 24 hours on a dozen key downtown routes, benefiting nightlife and service workers who typically had to rely on a costly ride share to get home after the metro subway and the bus system closed at night. Number three, a fired Florida Health Department data manager charged with illegally accessing state computers after she publicly accused officials of wanting to make COVID-19 statistics look less dire has reached an agreement with prosecutors that should result in the case being dropped. Rebecca Jones helped design the state's coronavirus virus website signed an agreement with prosecutors admitting guilt to a charge of illegally accessing the state's computer system and requiring her to pay $20,000 to cover the investigation's costs, perform 150 hours of community service, and see a mental health counselor monthly. If she completes those requirements, the charge will be dropped within two years. Number four, a decade ago, then Vice President Joe Biden shocked the political world and preempted his boss by suddenly declaring his support for gay marriage, one of the country's most contentious issues on national television. He predicted, things are changing so rapidly, it's going to become a political liability in the near term for someone to say, I oppose gay marriage. Mark my words and my job, our job, is to keep this momentum rolling to the inevitable. Well, that day that Joe Biden envisioned may have arrived. As he signed legislation Tuesday passed by the bipartisan majorities in Congress to protect gay unions, even if the Supreme Court should revisit, as some fear or hope, its ruling supporting a nationwide right of same-sex couples as well as interracial couples to marry. Number five, Ruth Ann Jenkins has been missing from Pineville, South Carolina since July 16. The 78-year-old woman who suffers from dementia was last seen walking along Highway 45 in the Pineville area. She was wearing a gray shirt, jeans, and black glasses. Her family says Ruth went for a walk and may have been looking for her keys or the family dog. She walks with her hands clasped behind her back at times and has a knee problem that causes her to walk slower and with a slight limp. Anyone with information on Miss Ruth's disappearance, please go to the Black and Missing Foundation website. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. A relaxed mind is the ultimate weapon against challenges. So inhale relaxation. (sighs) Exhale stress. Yes, man. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with the man of the world, Stephen Hill, the comedian of the world, Myra J., and our LGBTQ activist, Quinn Townsend Riley, as we discuss today's top headlines and more. To subscribe to my free daily What You Need to Know newsletter, please visit civilwilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.